Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Uh, in this particular daily dose video, we'll be discussing about a very conceptual problem of the topic of pins. So let's hear out what is the question telling us about. In this question, uh, it is basically there are two rods, one of length L and other of length 2L are made up of same material and same diameter. The two ends of the longer rod are maintained at 100 degrees Celsius. One end of the shorter rod is 100 degrees Celsius while the other end is insulated. Both the rods are exposed to the same environmental condition that is at 40 degrees Celsius. The temperature at the insulated end of the shorter rod is measured to be 55 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature at the midpoint of the longer rod? So question is like this, there is a longer rod and on the both the ends we are having the same temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. And if I talk about the shorter rod, it is having a length of L and it is an insulated tip at the free end and it is having a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. So question is, what is the temperature of the midpoint of the longer rod? This is the question. And both the rods are having the same ambient condition, right? So if you try to recollect uh, the basic concept of a fence, if you're having a root or base material, let's say this is root or base material, and towards the root on base material, we always attach a fin. And the in uh, through the fin, we always see the tendency of the temperature is always decreasing in an exponential way. So we try to draw the temperature distribution along the length of the rod. If I say this is the length of the rod x, this is the temperature. So it always follows a negative exponential distribution like this, right? This is the temperature profile of any fin that could be for insulated or uninsulated or infinitely long. Okay, try to apply the same logic over here. Now what happens as we are having the same source on both the side of the longer rod. So we will be having almost the same heat transfer will be uh, through the fin. right? So if I try to draw the temperature profile between these two temperature sinks. If I say if I only consider 100 degrees Celsius it will be having a temperature profile like this. And if I take the 100 degrees Celsius on the right hand side, it will be having the same temperature and it will be decreasing like this. Okay. So if you try to visualize at the midpoint, at the midpoint, we are having the minimum most temperature. At the midpoint, the temperature will be minimum. That means if you try to draw a single temperature profile over here, so it will be having a temperature profile like this with the at the exactly at the midpoint will be having the minimum temperature that means if I try to just eliminate these two temperatures so this will be the temperature profile and at the center will be having the minimum temperature so if the temperature is minimum at the center location of the uh, the longer rod can we say del t by del x will be equal to zero because if the temperature is minimum so definitely the rate of change of temperature with respect to the x distance that is x uh, this is the x direction this is y direction so along the x the temperature gradient will be zero so if the temperature gradient is zero can we say that if i try to draw in a similar perspective that there is a 100 degrees celsius root temperature and i'm having a rod which is insulated from this end and having a length l can we make it like this because if you're having an insulated tip, if this is insulated, then definitely we can say there is no rate of heat transfer or the, there is no heat loss from the tip or we can say the Q conduction is equal to Q convection is equal to zero or we can say del T by del X is equal to zero because that is a basic condition for any insulated tip. So if you try to visualize that I'm having a 100 degrees Celsius and tip is insulated because I'm, I'm just converting this two source into a single source and I'm just dividing into a simple case. So 100 degrees Celsius length L insulated tip ambient condition is 40 degrees Celsius. This is the same thing that we are seeing in this particular shorter rod. So can we say at this insulated tip the temperature will be 55 degrees Celsius and that will be equal to the temperature at the midpoint. So simply we can say that in this particular question without even solving we can easily get the value as 55 degrees Celsius will be the temperature at the midpoint of the longer rod. Why? Because if I talk about the midpoint it is minimum temperature 
मिनिमम टेम्परेचर में डेल्टी बाय डेलेक्स विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो डेल्टी बाय डेलेक्स जीरो मींस व्हाटएवर हीट विल बी कंडक्टेड दैट शुड बी कन्वेक्टेड बिकॉज़ दिस इज इंसुलेटेड दैट शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो और वी कैन से डेल्टी बाय डेलेक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम दिस पर्सन दिस पर्टिकुलर कांसेप्ट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट इफ यू आर हैविंग टू इक्वल सोर्स कनेक्टेड इन बिटवीन अ रॉड और इन बिटवीन अ बार विल बी हैविंग एग्जैक्टली एट द मिड पॉइंट द मिनिमम टेम्परेचर right and at that point we can consider it as an insulative right so this concept is being used in this particular question and very easily we are able to answer to this particular problem that the temperature at the midpoint of the longer rod is exactly equal to 55 degrees celsius no need to calculate no need to apply any formulas just pure logical that logical concept that you need to apply so this is it from my side i hope you all enjoyed this small particular video on fins so for more such awesome contents do subscribe to this particular channel and stay connected with byju's exam prep thank you